everyone, so writing sucks, right? Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Let me show you my note-taking and organization system, which I've used for years to write every dissertation, every essay, and now my PhD thesis. It's made my life so much less painful, and I hope it helps you as well, so keep watching. Okay, so tip number one, write as you read. This has helped me crank out essays in under two hours from start to finish. So what I do is I copy paste what I'm reading on the left hand side and at the same time I start rewriting stuff in my own words on the right hand side. So on the left I make sure I put the link down, I make sure I put the title of the study so I know where that information is coming from. As soon as I rewrite in my own words, I also put the title of the study right after the sentence in bold. This is going to help me cite it later on. The reason this works really quickly is that you're rewriting as soon as you read something, you're rewriting it in your own words. So you don't actually waste time later going back to your notes and trying to see what you actually wrote. By that time, you've forgotten what you read, so you have to read it all again. So this cuts all of that. Then I look for the study using the title on the Mendeley plugin in Microsoft Word, and I cite it straight away. Okay, tip number two is particularly good if you're starting out your PhD, and that is to note down every single paper you ever read. The coolest thing, the best thing I ever did in my whole life, basically, is that in the beginning of my PhD, I created this Excel file called Hero References. And basically every single thing that I read, I would take down like the title, the link, uh, the usefulness for my thesis and the date of publication, the date I read it, and a, very briefly the main thing that the article was about. And now I just, you know, I cannot thank myself enough for this because I can now just search. So, for example, if I want to search for now H3K9 ME3, I can just go back to all the articles that I have read on H3K9 ME3. So everything I've ever read, I know what is where and I don't need to search for those articles all over again. So this makes it so, so easy because you don't have to find the relevant research papers again, which is what takes a lot of time because if you had to research, redo the search for everything, you would then need to read all these papers again, right, to find the relevant bits of information. So it's really cool. I mean, I cannot believe I did something like this because I'm the most chaotic and undisciplined person, but this was so organized. What the heck? Who are you, Hira? The other tip is to recycle your writing like it's a climate crisis, okay? Actually look at what you've already written. So just try and recycle stuff, you know, because you keep writing reports during your PhD, you write, uh, maybe you've helped your supervisor write grant applications. So everything and anything that you have already written just go check it out because I feel like I can recycle so much stuff. So there's like random ideas I had and then random, you know, notes I made. For example, there was this histone mark I was looking at and then I found like loads and loads. Like there's so many notes here that I can just write from. So this is, you know, like the left. So when I was reading, I just copy paste stuff, right? Like I was telling you and the right side is empty because I haven't written anything. So now I can just use my old notes and just rewrite, rewrite from the notes. I did all this to understand the topic and now I've got the notes and I can just use them to write. So, you know, you just recycle stuff and have dual intentions when you're doing stuff. So not only are you reading to understand the topic, you will later be using those notes to actually write. So that's why I still, you know, uh, make sure I write the title above. I have the links if I want to go back to the article. I've got everything, you know. Okay, tip number four, how to actually take notes quickly and organize them so you don't spend half of your PhD either taking notes or finding them. The way you took notes at school is just not going to work for a PhD. Whenever you're reading stuff, like take notes, take notes, just put everything on paper. Now, there are two ways you could do this. There's slow way or the quick way. The slow way, which most people do, is when they're reading stuff, they will take notes as in they will write stuff in their own words. Now, that can be very slow. Also, you might never use that information in your thesis, so you're still like writing so much, and writing takes a lot of brain power. It also slows down your reading. But wait, what I usually do, which is the quick way, is this copy-paste. 
what it says on the article. Just copy paste paragraphs upon paragraphs upon paragraphs. And then when you need to rewrite that information or use it in a manuscript or a thesis, then rewrite it. So don't rewrite, you know, your notes can be directly from the paper, basically. And so I have so much. Let me show you. So things like this, you know, um, once upon a time in 2019, I wrote, uh, <laughs> I made this page to keep in mind ideas for the biomarker project you know and i just copy pasted stuff from a paper basically i have so much notes because everything you read you want to note down the stuff that you have learned that is relevant that's important so for example notes on background knowledge and reading okay so i've made like a main section and then you can make subsections on one note and then, so DNA methyltransferases and methylation basics. So when I was reading about this stuff, I just quickly, you know, copy pasted stuff. And this was for my own learning. But I knew that these papers are so important because these are the ones that I'll be citing later, right? So make sure that you include the links and then you just copy paste important stuff. So you have like a wealth of information now because everything you've ever read is actually noted down. Now, um, people usually do this in Word. Uh, the problem with that is you cannot search through your notes, but on OneNote, it's excellent. You press Control E and then you can literally search. So if I write H3K9 ME3, it will bring to me every single thing that I've ever, you know, written. Here's a paper on H3K9 ME3 levels. Does H3K9 ME3 lead to radio resistance? You know, I read that stuff. I had this question. I read about it. I noted it. Now I can go back to it. Paper ideas need to know for H3K9 project. Um, H3K9, ME3, and cancer to read. So suppose I didn't have time to read some stuff and I found, you know, very useful articles. I also made this little Excel table of things that I could read and I would just have a small little note from the intro telling me what the paper was about. So again, I can find this stuff so, so easily. And this is October 2019 and I'm using it on the 20th August 29th August 2022. I have obviously no idea what date it is. You see what I mean? Like you want you want to note down everything and you want your notes to be searchable so that you can use them later. You want them to be thorough um, and you want the process to be quick. And that's why you just, um, that's what you do. You copy paste. Um, you do not rewrite everything you read. That's just going to be too freaking slow. So now you know how I write my thesis at 50 times the speed of a normal PhD student. <laughs> just kidding. Subscribe for more life-saving PhD tips.